Good morning, everyone. I hope y'all are having a fabulous Tuesday, and I hope you had a great weekend. I did. It was my birthday weekend. I'll have to tell you guys about that and what we did. Um, but welcome to Ellis Home and Garden. Dean and I are excited to be here this morning to create something fun for y'all. Um, I have one of your favorites today, and we're going to do it for fall. And of course, we'll do it as we get closer to Halloween once we get more product in. But I wanted to show you how you could decorate Henry the Pumpkin for fall. Now, if you go to the website, it ain't called Henry the Pumpkin. That's just what I call it. But it's a perfect jack-o'-lantern, and the benefit of using it is that you can turn it to one side for fall, flip it around with the face on the other side for Halloween. So as y'all come in this morning, y'all leave a comment down below. Let us know that you're here, where you're watching from, and any questions or comments you have throughout today's video, drop those down below as well in the comment section. How was your weekend? It was good. It was good. Well, Tina, <clears throat> Tina got to see Top Gun, so she's happy about that. I haven't got to see it yet because Josh won't watch it. He says they go up and they go down. But I... um do want to see it as soon as I can. And I want to see the new Downton Abbey movie. You, you've watched that series? And there was one. Oh, and I want to see Jurassic World. Because it's the final one, and I love all those. Did you watch all those? No. Oh, you're not a Jurassic Park fan? No. Oh, my God, Dean. I cannot believe it. I love Jurassic Park, so I'm dying to see that. So if you did see it over the weekend, y'all leave a comment. Let us know what you thought of the movie. And if you think it was the best one yet, or out of the three that they've came out with the new ones, what do you think? You like Avatar? Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. you know, so there, there are new ones coming out this year. Mm -hmm. There's one in 2023, one in 2024. They already filmed everything. Uh, but my God, it's taken, what, 10 years to get this one out? I guess because of all the CGI and the editing and stuff. But you know it's going to be fabulous. All right, guys. So, look who's here. We have Henry the Pumpkin. If you guys don't know what this is or haven't seen a video here before, welcome. Henry the Pumpkin they've had around here at Ellis for a few years now. I love it because it's beneficial because, look, you can turn it to the side and decorate it. And you have a plain orange space. And then you can always flip it around to this side for the face. And then you have it for Halloween. It's got a uh, space in the back right here. So you can stick in some uh, battery operated candles. You can stick in some Christmas lights. And it's really fun to illuminate the front of the jack o' lantern. I had it on my porch one year, a couple years ago. And everybody was complimenting on it and loved it. So this is just an idea for you on what you could do for um, fall or Halloween. So we're going to get going on that. I'm going to go ahead and tie me a bow to get started. Uh, I have this box here, y'all. It's not the prettiest in the world, but I did this because it props the pumpkin up. And you can see it a little bit better. But now that I did that, i got to find out if I have any greeting pins back here. I took some the other day from the desk. Oh, I do have some right here. Okay. So for the ribbon, because this is going to be more of a fall design, I have a one and a half inch ribbon here. It's burlap base, and it's got these little red trucks on it. Super cute. But, you know, Henry's so fun because you can dress them up, you can dress them down, and you can probably use some things that you have and incorporate some new materials. So every week at Ellis, they offer an item of the week. And this week, the item of the week is the Maple Ivy Swags. Guys, they're on sale 25% off, which makes them $14.99, which I think is a great price. You can cut that apart in four sections, which makes it so easy to stick in a wreath or on top of this pumpkin. So I'm going to get my bow going here. I'm going to do about a five loop bow. You don't want to get it too big, but you can always do a bow with mixed ribbon. It's just your preference, but I think this will be good. And make your loops a little larger because, you know, Henry's a big boy, okay? So you don't want to get the loops too small. So let me try and think what I watched over the weekend. You know, I've been watching Hallmark, and Josh has been gone house-sitting, and I've been home alone for the past five days, and I was ready for him to come back because I was bored to death. But um, I've watched... Bridesmaids, have you seen that? Okay, I haven't seen Bridesmaids y'all since it came out, and it's been like I think 2009, and there was nothing on TV, and I couldn't find a new show. And the shows I did want to watch, I had to wait for Josh because he would get mad if I watched without him. So I watched Bridesmaids, and that show is so funny. I mean, uh, Kristen Wiig, she's just she's very talented. So is Melissa McCarthy, but it's funny to see Melissa McCarthy back then because she wasn't really a huge um, star yet, and now she is. So it's the wrong scissors, I guess. There we go. Okay. So I have me a five loop bow. And here's what I'm going to do, y'all. I'm going to take this pumpkin, take off that trashy tag, and guys, remove the stem. You don't need this, but save it. Because if you ever take other pumpkins and cover them with fabric or something, sometimes you got to go on Amazon and buy those stems. So keep them, and you can always use it for another project. Okay. So I'm just coming through with my greeting pin. I'm going to put a couple in here. Remember, this is for demo, but if you were doing this at home, you want to make sure that you glue everything in so it stays in place, especially those greeting pins, so it holds down your ribbon nice and tight, okay? So there's the aerial view. You can see the top of the pumpkin with the fabulous ribbon. I think the five loops is a great balance on top of there, and I used one and a half inch ribbon, but again, 
you can use a ribbon of your preference and your choice. So now we got to go with our main component, which is item of the week, which is the Maple Ivy Swags. These come in swags and teardrops. You can pretty much cut them apart pretty similar and use them both the same way. Okay. So I'm going to use the swag. And we're going to cut this apart into some smaller sections. We'll probably need about five pieces once we get done. So therefore, I'll probably use one whole swag and then a little bit of the other. So you can save the other part for a different project. Okay. And don't forget, these are on sale $14.99, which makes them 25% off at lsmgarden.com. Henry the Pumpkin's on there, guys. And so much more. They're starting to get new product in every day. So they've got a lot of stuff that's starting to show up on the website, which is exciting. So we'll do four pieces of this. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and cut me one more before we get started on the pumpkin. That way I have it set and ready to go. She lost Tennessee. <laughs> Hi from Tennessee. I wish I was there, girl. Does it get as hot there in the summer as it does here? They say it does. The last couple of days, I feel like it's been hotter than ever. I don't know. It could just be me. And it's, already, it's only June, but God, it seems like it's so hot outside. Okay, y'all. I'm going to take my, my um, swags, and I'm going to stick these in and around the bow on top of the pumpkin. Take your time because you want to have a really pretty balance on top of here, and just spin it around as you begin working. The benefit and best feature of this pumpkin is that it's really made out of a lightweight foam, so you don't have to stick any styrofoam in there. You can literally just stick your stems directly into the pumpkin, okay? So I'm going to keep adding. And y'all, these are orange, but let me tell you something. Say you wanted to really make it different, you could totally spray paint this in a heartbeat, and it would look so cool. Spray paint it black or hot pink or lime green or something like that. <clears throat> That's what's so fun about Halloween is you can be very creative and do all kinds of stuff, and everyone is going to love it. She said yesterday it was 95 feet in depths of 111. Here? In Tennessee. Oh. Oh, God, 111. Yeah, that sounds just about right, just like it's here. Okay, y'all. So, I put me some leaves on top of here. As you can see, I'm just kind of turning it so y'all can see like that. Is that froze? My camera's frozen. It's still right, going. So attempting to reconnect. I'm still showing you. Yeah, there's a lag, but it'll freeze. So I've got all of my leaves on here, guys. I've got my berries, and that's what I love about that swag is you get so much stuff inside of one swag. Okay. So I'm still frozen on mine. So <clears throat> something else fun that I love to do is use these, oh Lord, is use these leaves right here. <clears throat> so when you use a lot of orange, guys, it can become way too much. So by using leaves like this, it really helps brighten everything up a little bit and kind of make that orange stand out. And you've got an orange pumpkin, so you don't want to get too much orange. This step is totally optional. Say you don't want to do this, then you can always leave it uh, the way it is. But I'm just going to take a little bit of these green leaves. These are a ficus leaf, but you could use some uh, English ivy. You could use anything like that, um, some fern. But look, I like to leave them long because I'm going to let these just piece around the pumpkin before we add in <clears throat> some really fun components, okay? So I'm going to run up here. Now, y'all tell me you don't like that little bit of green. I just think that's so cool. Oh, uh, you know, don't tell you about my bad experience. Listen, y'all. You know, I've got the garden growing. The cherry tomatoes are off the chain. I mean, I'm getting those every other day. I had a bell pepper. I got it. I got a jalapeno. I got it. I had the other tomato plant with regular tomatoes, and I got two, two of them more on there. One was really big and pretty, but do you take them off while they're green and let them sit in the window to get red? I do keep the birds and other animals away from them. Okay, what happened to me was we had one that was perfect and it rotted. Like it split or whatever you want to call it. And I didn't, it had a ring around the top for a while, but I didn't know what that was. But I think we left it out there too long. So now we have one that I keep telling Josh it, it's been there a while and it's the same size. I think you should take it off, put it in the window. Y'all, look, I put a little bit of green on there. That just helps fill the top in a little bit, but I love it already. This is a great stopping place for you um, if you wanted to. Okay, look at this cool stem. I hope this is on the website, but if it's not, 
please don't kill me, okay? These black and white swirls. This is so fun. You could use Christmas stems, guys, because it's for fall. So anything gold, anything copper, lime green, all those colors will work out great. Black and white's a great option, too, and it's always fun and adds a pop of color for you. So let's talk about my birthday, okay? Okay, so I turned 30 yesterday. It was my 30th birthday, and I've been telling Josh since the beginning of the month because I know how he is. I do not like parties about me, okay? As much as y'all are like, Dylan, come on now. You like to talk. I do like to talk, but I don't want people focused on me. I just, it's not my thing. So I told him, I do not want a party. And he made, he was adamant that he wasn't going to throw me a party. And so I just forgot about it and I believed him. And so um, he asked me what I wanted to do for my birthday. And I said, why don't we just go me and you to Enoch's Stop, which is like a winery. It's like 10 minutes from our house. And he was like, okay, that works. So then Morgan, um, I kind of threw a tantrum because, you know, my middle name is Petty. And I said, Morgan wasn't going to come in for my birthday weekend. And I was like, why? And she was like, I don't I just saw you. And I was like, okay, you rude. And I said something else. I said, why don't you... Uh, just forget it. So anyway, then she calls me out of the blue. This is on Wednesday last week. And she says, hey, I'm going to come in for your birthday. Um, and Josh was house sitting and they have a pool. And I, he, Morgan was like, why don't I come in on Saturday morning early and we'll go to the pool that day and then whatever. And, and I was like, yeah, me and Josh was to go to dinner. And I was like, you can go. I can just add another reservation. And so she said, okay. So she comes down. And so then in the meantime, on Thursday night, we had a family dinner and my Grandpa came over and he said, "Did you hear your aunt Candy is coming into town from for Father's Day?" And I said, "Well, Father's Day is not till next week." And he said, "He, he played it off so well. He was like, exactly. Why is she coming down a week early for Father's Day?" And I said, "Well, you know, she's coming down. She's gonna get to see you. She's gonna take you to lunch. I think that's good." So we were planning on going for a Father's Day early lunch on Sunday, and I thought maybe she's coming down just for Father's Day. I never thought about my birthday. I never thought about anything, because she'd already texted me and said, "When you get to come up here next time, we'll go celebrate your birthday." Because she lives in Dallas, so. <clears throat> Saturday rolls around. I had not thought a thing about it. I went to the pool all day, burned up, and Morgan rode with me over there to the house. We left about 5 o'clock, and Josh was like, I'm going to come pick y'all up about 6.45 because the um, dinner reservations are at 7.15. So Morgan was wearing heels as always, and so they have a gravel driveway. So when we got to the thing, before you drive down and park, I was like, drop Morgan off at the door so she don't have to walk up here in the heels. And he said, why don't you get out with her? And he's never told me that before, okay? So I was like, why am I getting out of the door? But I thought, okay, that's nice. So I got out of the door of Morgan. We stood there and wait, talked to the security guard. You know, like I said, I never meet a stranger. And so anyway, we go up to the, um, and now I know he didn't want me to go to the parking lot because there was cars out there. But I walked to the front of the winery, and still, there was nobody in there. I mean, it's like two people. And I still wasn't thinking about it. I was just thinking, God, I'm hungry. And so anyway, the, Josh said, we're here for Dylan. And he said, okay, go upstairs. And they have, the way the laundry set up, they have a landing upstairs. You can sit there. And they have a private room. And that's usually reserved for weddings. So he said, go upstairs to the top, to the left-hand side, and um, the, where the door's closed. And that's when I was like, I turned to Josh and I said something really nasty. I'm not going to repeat it on here. But I was like, you did not throw me a party, you know. And he was like, no, I don't know why they're sitting us up here. And, I, and anyway, I knew right then, kind of. So then Morgan was flying up them stairs, and I was thinking, why is she flying up these stairs? So I go up the stairs and open the door, and of course, everyone is there. My family, my, can my Aunt Candy's in town. That's why she was in town, not for Father's Day. We had friends there. It was super fun. Um, so we just hung out at the winery and, and had a great time, and then we went back to my house for a little bit and chilled, and that was it. It was That was my kind of party because it was low-key. It was people that I love, and... It wasn't some big to do. If I'd have walked into a party with 50 people, I'd have probably threw him down the stairs. Okay, and we'd have been on the next episode of The Staircase on HBO Max because I was like, I can't. But anyway, it was uh, it was really fun. So thank you to Josh and Morgan, my mom, and everybody who helped set it up. It was great. Thank you for everybody who came. Um, but anyway, that's what we did for, for my birthday. That was on Saturday night. And then Monday, yesterday was my actual birthday. We went to dinner with our friend Judy in, or lunch. And then I had to go get a table because I'm a big marketplace shopper on Facebook. Listen. Because you can repurpose stuff and refinish it and not pay a fortune. So I was looking for a table for my store, and I finally found one, and it was in Gilmer. So I had to go get it yesterday. So I ran to Gilmer, got the table, came back. So anyway, that's how to my birthday. So now it's over, 30. I'm still going to tell people I'm 29. And now my license is expired. I hope I don't get pulled over because um, I just refuse to go to the, what's it called? The Denver. Oh, my God. They're rude in there. I just don't like it. So I do got to go, though. Morgan says you're welcome. Yes. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you for coming down. You know, I thought I was going to kill you. Okay, let's get back to this. Jeez. So, I have I'm my pumpkin. Do what? I'm at 5%. Oh, here. Um, let me play it right there on that pole. I have these fun little black swirls. <clears throat> black and white swirls. So, I'm going to cut these off. 
And y'all, we're just going to add a couple of these in for fun on top of the pumpkin, okay? Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to add a couple in at the top. I just love these, y'all, and they just really stand out. And you can put as many or as little in as you want. But I don't like them to be the same height, so I'm going to try and put in, let's see, just a couple here at the top. And I'll turn this in just a second so y'all can see once I get them in here. Okay, y'all, I'm going to scoot this over. Look how cute those black and white squirrels are. Do you love them? I think they're so fun. So I just stuck those right in the top. And again, you can use anything that's your preference. If you don't like the black and white, you could use some leopard. I think we have leopard squirrels coming in. But let me give you a recap of what we've done. We took Henry the pumpkin, which is technically for Halloween, but then we added in a five loop bow. I used a one and a half inch ribbon. I used a greening pin to attach it. Then I put my fabulous fall leaves in there. And then I added a little bit of greenery to break up that orange and bring out the green that's in those ombre leaves. And then I added some little squirrel picks. So maple ivy swag was on the website. It's on sale 25% off for the item of the week and it's $14.99. Henry the pumpkin's on there. It's $99.99. And I believe some of the other stuff is on there as well. But I challenge you guys to be creative and don't do the exact same thing. I mean, that's totally fine. But, you know, be creative and use something that you like and just try it out and get the feel for it. And if you've never made an arrangement before, tied a bow before, I hope that this video uh, comes to you and inspires you. And I hope that you try something out on your own. Make sure when you do make it, you tag Ellis in your photos, Ellis Home and Garden. So that way we can see what you do with the products that you get here each and every week. Um, from our Tuesday videos because I get inspired by seeing your guys work That's why I have a monthly design group guys Dylan's Divas because I love it. I teach in there how to, to um, you know make floral and, and uh, Everything like that But I really like to see what they come up with because sometimes they take concepts that I teach and they put their own spin their own flair on it It comes out looking better than mine did so it's always uh, really interesting and fun And I love it and if you guys are ever uh, wanting to learn more about floral design and more in-depth instruction, then head to my website, dylanpalmerdesigns.com. You can join Dylan's Divas for 20 bucks a month, and we do video four times a week right now, and I'm doing a lot of fall. We're getting into Halloween. We're doing a whole week in, Christ in July for Christmas in July. So a lot's happening, a lot of excitement, and I have my new table I got yesterday for my birthday, so I'm really excited for that. And you could totally take these swirls out if you don't like them, and this arrangement or this pumpkin will be perfectly fine and complete without them. That's just kind of my preference, and that's what I liked at the time. All right, guys. Well, I hope that y'all had a wonderful weekend. I hope you're staying cool because it's hot as heck. And uh, I'm trying to think of the, I haven't started any new shows, so to speak. Um, we started this one called Peaky Blinders. I don't know what the heck's going on, so I'm not into it. It's a period piece. You know, I have to live out those, and I can't do it. So I'm done with that. Josh will probably keep watching it, but we haven't really started anything new. I think a lot of stuff's starting to come out. September, y'all watch Handmaid's Tale. I just showed Dina. Um, they haven't put a trailer out yet, but The Handmaid's Tale comes back in September. I forgot the date. I just showed her. But anyway, the 14th, so she already got it burning her memory. Um, but that's coming out in September. Yellowstone's coming back in November. Are you caught up on that yet? No. Dina, oh, my God. Okay. And, um, yeah, I think that's it, y'all. All right, y'all, follow me on Facebook, Designs by Dylan. Don't forget, ellishomegarden.com. Item of the week was Maple Ivy Swag. It's $14.99. Henry's on there as well. Hope y'all have a fabulous week, and we'll see y'all next Tuesday here at Ellis Home and Garden. Oh, y'all, don't forget, I don't know about in Bossier, but here in Longview and in Bossier, I think, they're having their annual tent sale. So come out to the store, to a location. They have a tent in the parking lot. There's fabulous deals, all kinds of stuff, honey. It's like a treasure chest. You never know what you're going to find. So go out there and check it out. I'm going to on the way to my car, and y'all have a fabulous day. Bye, y'all. Bye.